The most important decision you make that will determine the success or failure of your rental property is the person you put in the property. A bad tenant can potentially cause years of stress, headache, and financial loss, while a great tenant can provide years of security, peace, and prosperity. So don't underestimate the importance of renting to only the best tenants. Now, while it is not possible to know with 100% certainty what type of tenant your applicant is gonna be, there are some telltale signs and traits that will give you a pretty darn good idea if they're gonna be a good tenant. Now, here are six things you should be looking for to fill your next vacancy. Number one, their ability to afford the rent payment. The first and foremost quality of a good tenant is their being financially responsible and their ability to afford the rent. Without proper payment, a landlord will be forced to evict and be faced with potentially thousands of dollars worth of legal fees, lost rent, and damages. Most landlords require that a tenant's documentable income is equal to at least three times the monthly rent. Many tenants believe that they can afford more than they really can, so it is the job of the landlord to set the rules and protect their investment. If the tenant is already financially responsible, earning three times the monthly rent should be sufficient. Number two, their willingness to pay on time. While some landlords look at late rent as a benefit because of the extra income from the late fees, a late paying tenant is more likely to stop paying altogether. The stress involved when the rent doesn't come in is not a pleasant experience and can be avoided by only renting to tenants who have a solid history of paying on time. Number three, the long-term outlook for their job stability. While a tenant may have the ability to pay rent and they can, might pay it on time right now, their ability to do so in the future is often determined by their job situation. If they're the type to switch jobs often or have long periods of unemployment, you may find long periods of missed rent. Moving on to number four, their cleanliness and housekeeping skills. No tenant stays forever and when they leave, you want the property back in good condition. As such, it is important that a tenant's day-to-day -day living be clean and orderly. They must take good care of the property that you've entrusted with them. All right, moving on to number five, their aversion to crime, drugs, and other illegal activities. A person who has no regard for the law will also likely have no regard for your policies. Tenants who engage in illegal activities will cause nothing but stress and expense to you. So be sure to run a background check on your prospective tenant to ensure they don't have a shady past. That said, keep in mind that a past history of drug or alcohol abuse could be considered a medical issue, not criminal, thus something you can't deny a tenant over without being guilty of violating fair housing laws. If they are selling drugs, that's different than using, so be sure to study up on fair housing laws in your area. All right, finally, number six, the stress quotient. How much stress are they gonna cause you? The final quality of a great tenant is something that we, my, in Open Door Properties, my wife and I call the stress quotient. In other words, the amount of stress a tenant is gonna cause you the landlord. Some tenants are very high maintenance and constantly demanding time and attention. Others simply ignore the terms in their lease and they need constant babysitting, reprimanding, and discipline like late fees and phone calls. This type of tenant will only be a thorn in your side. I just cannot stand those tenants. Now, obviously, no tenant is gonna be 100% perfect, so deciding how close to perfection you will require is a personal choice that depends a lot on your desired involvement level and the community in which your property is located. If tenants are difficult to find, it might be financially advantageous for you to actually rent to a less than perfect tenant in order to fill a vacancy. Now notice I said less than perfect, not rent it to anyone. <laughs> On the other hand, if you have plenty of applicants to choose from, you can be significantly more picky. Just remember, it's much better to have a unit vacant a little longer while you wait for the right tenant than to rent it to the wrong person. So how exactly do you weed out the bad tenants and find those quality ones? Well, the answer involves setting strict qualifying standards and screening your applicant carefully to verify whether or not they meet those standards. So if you wanna know more about how I screen tenants, be sure to pick up a copy of The Ultimate Guide to Tenant Screening for free by clicking this link right here or by simply visiting biggerpockets.com forward slash tenant screening. Now, if you enjoy this video, I need three quick favors from you. Number one, tell your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, that you love them. Trust me, they need to hear it more often. Love you, Heather. Seriously, I mean like right now, like text him or yell upstairs or something. I can wait, it's okay. All right, secondly, 
Click the little thumbs up button here on this video to let the internet magicians know that this video is helpful and they'll show it to everybody in the world. It'll be amazing. And number three, if you want to know more about managing rental properties, be sure to pick up a copy of the book on managing rental properties written by myself and my amazing wife, Heather. You can get it on Amazon or by visiting biggerpockets.com forward slash rental book. Okay, with that, it's time to get out of here. For biggerpockets.com, my name is Brandon Turner, signing off.